Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Zagreb by Chaos Devices. <laughs> so Zagreb is indeed a stereo four-pull multi-mode filter. It is capable of creating essentially five different uh, filters of which three are always available. And the main thing is that because you've got your high pass, low pass and your band pass filter, and then you've got three distinct modes for your band pass. So it is of course named after the well capital of current day Croatia. And even though the, the well, the model number or the model year for this one is 1979. At that point, it was, of course, part of, uh, of Yugoslavia. Um, other than that, I always love the Chaos de uh, Devices aesthetic. It has a very utilitarian uh, look and feel, uh, but I like the well, the throwback to, well, of course, in this case, late in 70s design. But what I always love is the things like, well, small details like the red PCB, uh, the imagery that they use. I, um, I tr can truly appreciate that. Uh, do keep in mind that on this, uh, as with all Chaos Devices uh, modules, they're using the Polish spelling of Zagreb. So just throw in that extra Z there, okay? Um, well, that being said, I uh, do have to thank Chaos Devices for making this module available for me to test and to showcase. Uh, but other than that, I would say, uh, hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video cause uh, here we go. So first things first, here we've got Zagreb by Chaos Devices. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing all these things, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best, so. <laughs> um, Zagreb is a, well, a stereo filter uh, that has all of the modes available and has a nice switch for the band pass filter. It has a very nice and very compelling, well, resonance slider there. And even though it's not designed to be self-oscillating, you can do some fairly nice things with it. Um, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the signal we're going to be working with, and that is indeed the triangle wave right there. And if we then patch that into the mono, and of course it is a stereo filter, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to start off with a mono review and then we're going to open it up to the stereo aspects of it. So I'm just going to patch this in. Let's start with the high pass. And then have a look at the band pass. I'm going to start all the way up with the high 18, low 6. A bit of resonance. I'm just going to turn resonance all the way up. And then high 12, low 12. With some resonance. And last but certainly not least, high 6, low 18.
with some resonance. No, that's nice, right? And then, of course, the low pass filter. with some resonance. As I can say, just a, a, a perfect stereo filter as you might already have heard. Uh, but then the beauty is of course that you can modulate this and have this modulate not just the well, color frequencies, uh, but you can also modulate the spread, as in the the difference between the left and right signal. So what I want to do is I, I want to quickly patch this up, and I'm just gonna uh, make some changes to this, and you won't hear me talk throughout the rest of the video until we get back to the studio, because I want to make sure that we all enjoy the stereo aspect of this. So I'll be right back. Thanks.
So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on Zagreb by Chaos Devices. And even though, well, Zagreb is not the first stereo uh, filter module that I've tested. Uh, you might remember videos that I've done on the Erica Sins uh, Black Jewel VCF. I do have to say that all of those filters have such a very distinct um, feel and sound to them that I can't just go ahead and just compare them one against the other. What I do have to say is that I truly love the character that Zagreb has. And one of the things I haven't shown in uh, this video is how you can actually really overdrive this module and truly get to the nastiness and the grit that this one has to offer. Um, so I might upload a follow-up video on that later on. Um, that being said, as I mentioned during the intro, I do have to thank Chaos Devices for making this module available. Um, as always, they haven't had any say in this uh, in my content or in my opinion on this, but I truly have to say thanks to them. And I truly have to, well, I can only recommend Zagreb. And I uh, hope that that came across this video as well, because I was really impressed with what they were able to do with this. Um, in this same line of uh, modules, I'll also be doing a review on the Chaos Devices Minsk in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, other than that, I do have to thank everyone again for uh, taking the time to uh, watch my videos. I will be at Superbooth next week, so if you do uh, uh, find me walking around there, come and say hi. I'll be there on Friday and Saturday. Um, that being said, well, hope to see you there. And um, if you're not able to join Superbooth, I hope to see you uh, for my next video again. For now, please everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.